Yud is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about how you can get free new takeoff reward Diamond Donovan Mitchell in NBA 2K23. My team, one of, if not the best point guard you can get in the game obviously he's not gonna be better than like derrick rose or you know those russell westbrook pink diamonds those trophy players but after those i think you can make the case that donovan mitchell is up next now before we dive any further into that guys if you are new to my channel and have not yet make sure you guys smash that subscribe button as we're on the road towards 110 000 subscribers so here's the deal guys okay i'm trying to uh I'm trying to see because there was a section where you could complete Lamar Odom. I'm not sure exactly where that Lamar Odom thing is. It was available at least until Friday, but I, I don't see it anywhere now. But here's the deal. Donovan Mitchell basically replaced what Lamar Odom was and where he was. So now after every game, you can have the chance to get Donovan Mitchell out of the vault. You still have the chance to get Lamar Odom. And it looks like right now, I mean, maybe this will update, but right now, Triple Threat Online, it looks like Lamar Odom is there. But after, like, Clutch Time Online, My Team Unlimited, Donovan Mitchell is for sure going to be available. Now, that's not necessarily a guarantee you're going to get him. It's RNG, and so will you probably get him? I mean, probably not. But you'll have a chance to get Donovan Mitchell's Diamond Card after each and every one of these, get those games. Now, what I'm looking at is is if you do want maybe a top, I'm going to say top three attainable point guard right now in my team. Here's what you need to do for Donovan Mitchell, okay? And it's pretty easy. I'm just throwing that out there, okay? You got to complete these five agendas. Now, the first one is getting 134 steals over multiple games. Now, you can do that in legitimately any game mode. You just have to be playing the game. And steals are going to happen naturally, whether that's triple threat offline, whether that is domination, you are going to get steals naturally. It's, it's that simple. It's that easy. You don't have to do anything special for that. You are going to get steals as you do go through it and play the games. Now, the other stuff, is, I mean, isn't necessarily the easiest thing. Two, uh, you need 323 points with Jazz players. Again, is that the easiest thing to get done in the world? No, but in domination, triple threat, whatever you guys want to play, you can easily, easily, easily get that done. Now, with jazz players, what does that exactly mean? Well, let's just do this, okay? Let's go into the in, in here and let's look at some jazz players. Their prices have probably went up, uh, but it's important to know. Okay, it looks like the only one is Ricky Green, but it's important to know you might already have Ricky Green. Like for me, I already have Ricky Green in my collection and I can just use him, okay? And so that's important to know as you go through it. You guys saw I had him. And if you guys do have Ricky Green, I don't even know where my Ricky Green is. Um, but if you do have him, he's just a guy you can use if you grind domination, whatever else, just to help you get those points. Other than that, guys, you can redeem some players in these token packs uh, for the Utah Jazz. Now, again, I you get, you're going to have to get Donovan Mitchell to get this done. You can also get some other players, again, just to plug into your specific lineup to make that happen. These are not that bad. Make 47 dunks with shooting guards over multiple games. So... Again, you can do that with a Utah Jazz shooting guard. You can do it with a random shooting guard. It doesn't matter. But what I personally would do is try to combo these two things up. The points with Jazz players and the dunks with shooting guards. Because those two things can go hand in hand. If you get 47 dunks with a Utah Jazz shooting guard, that's boom. Already 94 points there that you are taking off the top of that 323 number. You need 129 three-pointers with Cav Cavs players over multiple games. Now, why is the Cleveland Cavs thing? Well, it's because that's where Donovan Mitchell is from. It's important to know you also get trophies on this grind. So it's not like this grind is just for Donovan Mitchell. You get trophies as you go through it. Now, 109 or 129 three-pointers with Cavs players. Is that a little bit ridiculous? Yes. Let's check this out and see if there is any big Cleveland Cavs players that you could do this with. I'm thinking, let me look at something real quick. I'm thinking, yes, if you did lock in for Kevin Love, he's going to be a great candidate to complete these with. I personally don't have Kevin Love, so I won't be able to do them with Kevin Love. But again, if you did get him, obviously, he's a great option. I'm going to look through all these just to see if there is a uh, Cleveland Cavs player that you guys could, you know, work on this with that I personally might not have. Otherwise, you might just have to get somebody in that token market. So here's, I'm going to just look up some, some players for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, so you guys kind of 
kind of know what you're looking at um, as we go through this. Like Darius Garland, he has an 82 three ball. Could easily make that happen and make that work. Even like a gold Kevin Love, he has a 78 three ball and you could make that work. And so those are probably your top two candidates that you do want to uh, maybe go with um, as, you, as you're grinding this out. Even a o Ochai Abaji, he has a decent enough three ball. Dean Wade is a 74 three ball. But Darius Garland's probably the, the way I would turn. Um, and so if you're wondering for me what I personally would do well, I probably would run, because you're looking at Donovan Mitchell being a shooting guard. So you run Darius Garland at your point guard position and just pair him with Donovan Mitchell. That's really all you've got to do because you're going to make threes with Darius Garland. You're going to get assists with Donovan Mitchell as you get those done. Uh, you're going to get 10 assists, 10 points uh, with the dunks as well. And you're just going to be able to kind of combo all these up. Now, Steals, again, you're just going to have to get those naturally. You can do that in any game mode. But again, I, if I'm you guys or if I'm myself, what I might do is, for example, yeah, as I'm grinding domination, it's something you can do, right? And what I would have to do is I'm going to have to start sweating domination a little harder. But most of the time, these aren't super hard to get done. So I might go out there with this starting lineup. And if I get up quite a bit, maybe I could get that done. If you really want to cheese the game and make it easy, man, just play on semi-pro difficulty and that's going to be super easy. Playing on semi-pro difficulty obviously is going to be an easy approach. You're just not going to get any anything really done. Again, even like this, uh, playing the Celtics on like all-star difficulty, that's another easy thing that you can do. Just run a good squad if you're trying to get domination done and run Donovan Mitchell with Darius Garland as well. Triple threat offline, again, that could be an easy method to get some things done. You're just probably not going to get the double-doubles done, and so that's, you know, really where I'd, I'd, I'd work on domination, stuff like that. So for me, this is not a bad grind at all. It's a grind, honestly, people might get done today. It's not like that long of a grind, and you can kind of do other things as you work on this. And so that's kind of my approach at, on things. I mean, I'm not going to rush to get these done. Somebody probably will. I'm not. I'm just going to work on it as I play Domination. As I play Domination, I'm going to make sure I get Donovan Mitchell's double-doubles done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here in the token market and I'm going to go to the Utah Jazz. And yes, I'm going to spend 10 tokens. I'm going to get Donovan Mitchell. And I'm probably going to do the same thing with Darius Garland because I, I, I definitely think it is worth it. So boom, Donovan Mitchell got him right there really quick, really easy. Same thing there with Darius Garland. You go to the Eastern Conference, you claim Darius Garland, point guard card, and pair that duo up, man, and then you're going to make this go by really, really quickly. So that's kind of my approach to things. You guys can take a different approach if you guys want to, but I think it's going to be really easy to get that done with that duo. I mean, anytime I play current Don, boom. I'm working on basically Donovan Mitchell's double-doubles. That's my first priority. Getting steals when I'm on defense, obviously. That's just going to happen naturally. And then when I'm scoring with Donovan Mitchell, getting dunks. When I'm assisting, trying to get threes with Darius Garland. That's kind of the meta. And that's how you're going to get through it relatively quickly. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully, each and every you guys did enjoy it. And hopefully, it helped you guys as you guys are trying to get Donovan Mitchell. Again, you can get him from RNG. Like, after playing Unlimited, if the vault opens, you do have the chance to get Donovan Mitchell out of that. So, kind of keep that in the back of your minds as well. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are doing it as always, man. I love you guys. And have a blessed day.